Ceteris Paribus. This is not a Latin lesson. This video is about economics. Let's move on. The literal translation of the phrase Ceteris Paribus is everything else being equal or all other things being equal. This phrase is used by economists to make general economic models. Almost all of microeconomic and macroeconomic models have ceteris paribus inside them. When economists generate their theories, they try to establish relationships between some components in the market. They are smart enough to know that there are a lot of things that go on in the market to make it act like the way it does. So, by assuming citrus paribus, they can isolate the variables they want to analyze and check to see if they have any relation with each other or not. That is it. The example will make it clearer though. Let's move on now. The most basic assumption in economics. The relationship between price and demand. When the price of something goes up, the demand will go down. The assumption here is that when something becomes expensive, people do not want to buy more of it. The thing is, there is a citrus parables in this assumption. Because we don't really know about all the other factors like the overall income level of the people. Maybe the price increased but the income of the potential consumers have increased as well. Then the demand will be pretty much the same. On the other hand, when the price goes down, the demand goes up. That is the assumption. And you already know that there is a citrus paribus in there. For example, if price of pizza in one store went down, but what we don't know is that there are alternatives to pizza all around the store and they are way more cheaper. Then, when the price goes down, the demand will not go up. Citrus paribus has to be assumed in this case. So, when you assume citrus paribus, you can easily say that when demand is high, the supply will be low. Those are the most basic assumptions in economics. High demand, low supply. And citrus paribus is in all of them. I hope that was enough for citrus paribus. I am making this tiny little video just so I don't have to explain what Citrus Paribus is in every single economics video I make. I was actually writing my script for Production Possibility Frontier. And while writing down what I needed to explain, I saw that I have to talk about Citrus Paribus in there. And I did not want to explain Citrus Paribus for 3 minutes in a 10 minute long video. That is why this video is going up. From now on, I will just link this video whenever I have to mention Ceteris Paribus. And frankly, in economics, you have to say it a lot. This video is just like this other debt financing versus equity financing video I made before starting another series. And lastly, different people pronounce Ceteris Paribus differently. There is Ceteris Paribus, there is Ceteris Paribus, there is Ceteris Paribus, and there is Paribus as well. I have learned it as Ceteris Paribus, that's why I say it as Ceteris Paribus. Now, this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching, you can like, share, subscribe and all that. And I am also on Patreon. If you want to support me over there, you can do that as well. Now, lastly, I really hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.